Well, hello and welcome to Netshook Arts. Today's topic, used vinyl review. Album review we've got from the 1980s from the Blasters, Dave Alvin. What is this called? Romeo's Escape. All right. Now, I've reviewed the Blasters before and I've mentioned I love them. The band, the Blasters, they came out of LA, uh, rather, they came out of um, Central California, I believe. Delano, maybe? Uh, almost Central California, not that high, but, you know, up around that farm country up there, up north of LA. And they came out of there, and they played, uh, the Blasters played a great, uh, in my opinion, uh, style of uh, old style, 50s rock, uh, cowboy rock, a dive bar, old style rock and roll. I really love what they play. Dave Alvin is one of the creators, one of the beginners of the Blasters. And so um, I caught this solo album and picked it up to take a chance because I figured he's probably got some good music on here. And I was not steered wrong. It's a pretty good choice in my opinion. Dave Alvin's, Dave Alvin's album, say that three times fast, Dave Alvin's album brings a very good mix of country, Americana rock and roll, roots rock, blues rock, all mixed in there, sometimes all in one song. So he's got some good stuff going on on this album. Now, also something that's great about this album is that it, it features uh, some of the um, long-standing relationship between the Blasters and Los Lobos, who also came uh, who Los Lobos, who also came up more or less into the recording world, more or less around the same time as the Blasters. So they were all brothers in musicianship and they blend and play on each other's albums. And to this day, they play shows together. If you can catch a show, you know, with the Blasters and Los Lobos and X, they all have a, a relationship that goes back to their early days. They tour together at times. Catch that. That's quite the ticket if you can get that. All right. So anyway, Dave Hidalgo from Los Lobos plays a role here on Dave Alvin's um, album. Uh, here on um, side one, the lead song, the kickoff song, Fourth of July, very good song. Americana rock and roll. Dave Alvin filtered through Los Lobos' brand of American Americana kind of roots rock. So very familiar kind of uh, uh, tune there. And uh, Hidalgo plays, um, ooh, he plays eight string guitar on um, and offers some vocals on 4th of July. So that's a great song. And also the second song on side one, Long White Cadillac, classic oldie that a hundred bands have covered in a hundred different ways. Dave Alvin offers variation 101. He puts his own unique spin on it and he makes the song his own. And that one is well worth it. I enjoy that cover of Long White Cadillac. Side two, jumping to side two, it's... Um, Mm, I, you know, when I say generic, in this way, I don't mean it as a slight. It's generic in the sense that we've heard it before, but also very comfortable. Let's call it comfortable dive bar, cowboyish, westernish uh, rock and roll that you would hear in a dive bar in the background while you're enjoying some beers. Good stuff on side two. There's nothing wrong with it, you know. It's just that none of the songs particularly stand out, you know, and they wouldn't really be radio hits. I can't see that. But as I said, put that on and a few cold ones, and that's very comfortable music to enjoy 
you know, uh, 20 minutes with. Find yourself a gal with cowboy boots and uh, have a few dances to side two. That's what that reminds me of, you know? All right, so before we leave, let's take a look at album sleeve. This is pretty nice. All right, so we've got one side of the album sleeve has Dave Alvin and his band. All right, so there we've got that photo going on. And here on the back, we have the lyrics. So a very nice find. I always like when I can find an album with uh, the original sleeve. But see this? You see this little peekaboo action happening here? Arr. That's one of the things that grinds my gears when I buy used albums. And that, folks, uh, reminds me that I, I'm going to put together an upcoming uh, video. For those of you who are new to the vinyl game and new to buying used vinyl, I'm going to put together a video for some tips that I believe uh, would be helpful when you're out there shopping for used vinyl. Thanks for stopping by to watch album review netshoe arts today dave alvin recommended you know it's a pretty good little album to have on the side if you're a if you know if you're a lover of the blasters you're probably going to like this album thanks a lot and hey and by the way if you're a fan of los lobos dave hidalgo is on here he's on another couple of songs playing i believe he plays a uh, violin violin on another song here and he's playing guitar on about three songs so and i think vocals on two so it, it'll also be nice to have to add to your Dave Hidalgo los lobos collection all right thanks for watching please remember you know and you know subscribe like peace